about this, Caprice? You go back a couple months ago at the, the DPW Tag Festival. Speedball Mike Bailey was the DPW World Champion. I, I'll, I'll be it for about 30 seconds or so. That was after uh, Kobe Carino. He was the special enforcer of the matchup. He made the count, but was not the official referee. Lucky Ali popped back up. A, a low blow was, was the decision maker when the, when the actual referee was uh, able to, to get back in the matchup. So it's, it's stuff like that that tells me why speedball keeps coming back. Is once you taste the championship, you can't get that taste out your mouth until it's yours and you become the champion. Now we're getting a great matchup, two agile guys. Well, equally matched up. Oh, I love it already. Were you able to move that fast when you were seven foot tall? Ha! Huh? No, no. Could enough. you pull that off? Nope. Huh? That's right. It is amazing for somebody as large as uh, Amber it is that he can move like that. I've never seen a more agile giant. I mean, all jokes as well. Hold on here. All jokes aside, if you're watching the matchup, the first time you've seen DPW, the first time you've seen Andrew the Giant, what makes him the Giant? He's clearly not seven foot four. It's the way he thinks about it, man. His ego is that tall. In the mirror, he sees a giant. And as long as he sees a giant, it doesn't matter what anybody else sees. He wrestles like a giant. He performs like a giant. His heart is big. His heart is as big as the size of a giant. I believe a giant when I see Andrew Everett because there's nobody that's been through what Andrew Everett's been through and still walking around unless you are a giant. Bailey with the reversal. That means think big, Bukini. Well, I get you. I know. I hear what you're saying. I'm just... Think about the fan that's watching for the first time. That's either, what are you, am I, is my, are my eyes deceiving me? Is, is Mike Bailey seven foot? Well, there's a whole lot of things that's understandable Everett's these days. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of these two men will punch the final ticket to the Carolina Classic Final. And uh, if these qualifying matches aren't enough of an endurance test, well, speaking of endurance, I think these are the most endured athletes. Uh, these athletes have the most endurance out of everybody in the tournament, have the best condition. Um, the only thing is how much punishment can they take? They have the biggest heart, but it's how much can they recover? Uh, that's going to be the testament. I believe these athletes will go into the final match with just as much energy as they came into with this match. That's how fast they recover. Our main event in elimination style matchup. Uh oh Looking for a giant choke slam. Bailey able to skirt that. I'll tell you what, if, if Andrew Everett would have landed that choke slam, nobody in this room would have questioned who the giant is. Drop toe hold. He would have made you a believer, Bukini. That yeah, certainly would have. I hear you doubting. I'm not doubting. I'm yeah, you are doubting. I'm just asking questions. questions. That's a giant moves on. Incredible cover. And Bailey out of it at two. I'm just asking questions, Coleman. Yeah, Come I'm on. giving you answers, Bukini. <laughs> to the outside and Everett getting the crowd behind him. No doubt a fan favorite here at Deadlock Pro. It's always great to see either one of these guys here, but you know Andrew Everett grew up in the Carolinas and became a star. Always relative. Oh, look at these kicks. Rapid fire. Every one of them in the rib cage except for the last one planted on the cheek of Andrew Everett. No hesitation from Bailey quickly back into the ring. Well, Bla Bailey knows how to take it home. He's going to take it home fast. That's what they call him speedball. Everett hung out to dry, trying to get his foot in, and he can't get it. He's trying to get his feet under him. Oh, heads up here. Oh, man. God, it's too late now. Double knees to the back of the skull. Oh, my God. Bailey pleased with that maneuver. Those double impact moves hurt so bad because there's impact coming down with the knees on the back of the head from Bailey. And then after he hits you with it, you take a slam to the mat. That's double impact in two different areas of your body. Are you surprised that uh, Bailey didn't go for the cover there? Well, Bailey, Bailey's a smart man. And I'm not in the matches. A lot of times I've watched his matches back of, of myself and I'm like, why didn't I go for a cover there? It's just in the action, you're thinking different. 
Now into the cup. And a kick out of two. And they lead right back into it. These are some high pressure covers here. Oh, oh my God. The knees and the shins right into the ribs. The giant gasping for breath. Slow to get up. Bailey in charge here. Oh my! I tell you what, man. These kicks by Speedball are precision tuned. They're going exactly where they're intended to go to, and they mean harm when they get in those places. Oh, that's right in the rib cage. That's the second time. Second time we see Speedball dive into the rib cage of Andrew Everett. And even when he led that lacerated pin, how he adjusted the arm, put his place there in the rib cage, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's planting, the, he's planting these seeds to cover every time the same way with Andrew Everett for the finish. The thing that impresses me most about Mike Bailey, how explosive his kicks are. Yeah, that's what I mean by the, the, their explosive and their precision tune. They're, just like when you saw him coming out, where he kicking the, uh, the fans' hands and, and with his feet and, and punching and all that. These guys, he doesn't miss. Roundhouse connects. And Bailey here lining up. Oh. An axe kick right to the sternum. Oh, my God. Like a scalpel with the ball of the foot right to the back of the head, followed up by another kick and out. Oh, running shooting star press. So many things that Speedball does well. You saw him with the display of martial arts. You saw him with wrestling. You saw him with agility. It's like when you, you, you have a craft and you, you add the craft to the craft that you're honing, and it makes you so much more of a weapon. There's two rotations blocked. Everett had it scouted. Bailey connects again with a kick. Everett. Whoa, whoa. Speedball was not anticipating that. Andrew Everett. This is where he's at home. Spin wheel kick, springboard. Just enough to even things out. Bailey stunned. Seems to be checking on his left shoulder. Desperation move from Everett to stay in the matchup. You see that punch in the ground right there. Bailey's telling his, see, that's that self-talk. Get up, Bailey. Get up, Bailey. He's talking to himself to get himself up. Mm. What a snap on that one. Goodness. Everett goading Bailey in, saying, come on, give me it. I don't know how smart it is to go strike to strike with somebody as sharp as Speedball Bailey. Go for that choke slam. Mm. Bailey out of it. Three chops. Looking for a fourth. Irish whip. Everett evading. Second rope moves. The springboard moonsault to out of nowhere, him twice. Leg hooked. And Bailey out of it at two. I've never seen two moonsaults back to back like that. Land the way they have. The only person that can pull something off like that is Andrew Everett. Final qualifying matchup. Winner heads on to the main event. Will it be Bailey? Will it be Everett? Now I have to say that if it was a war of points, I would say Speedball would be ahead on points. And everything that Andrew has tried right here. Reversed. Bailey with yeah. a big kick. Oh my, it's the third time. I told you what, he's working on the bread basket of Andrew Everett. Andrew Everett, like I said, would be behind on points, and every time Andrew Everett tries something, is trying to get an even slate. He's trying to create space. He's trying to find a way to recover and come back up, and he continuously ends up on the losing end of that. Speedball is always ahead of the game by one move. Capacity crowd on hand here tonight in Durham, North Carolina. Smart strategy here by Everett going to the outside. Bailey wants to fly. Everett back in. And heads up for the Giant. Oh my God. 
giant suicide dive. Bailey hard into the guardrail. Did you see the guardrails ricochet almost thrown in? Bailey up. Whoa! The guardrails are falling, and neither one of these athletes are done. Everett's high. Uh-oh. Big ball. My God. Ten minutes has elapsed. Five minutes remaining. I'll tell remaining. you what, man. Six inches back, he would have broke both of those ankles. That's how much you have, how agile in timing together you have to be so precise with these movements. Both of these two are leaving it all out there. They're holding nothing back. I think this is too much of a risk right here from Everett. Yeah. Bailey, oh, oh no! Oh. Bailey slipped, he got a piece of Everett on the way down. That's why they call these moves high risk maneuvers. Both men took a lot of the blood. We'll see who gets up first. But Bailey trying this risk because he's realized that this is desperation. You're trying to do whatever you can to keep your opponent down. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Those ropes get very, very slippery, especially the longer a match goes on. And he's wrestling barefoot as well. Well, that exactly, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. And not to mention the fact, no mats on the floor either. That is a hard landing. Yeah, absolutely. No, neither, neither opponent moving. Speedball, the first one to try to get up. Referee up to the seven count. You can't make this. Come on, get in the ring. Get in the ring, both of you. Come on. Get in Referee the ring. Get in the ring. There you go. Both dive it in. They don't want to. Neither of them wants to take a count out win. You love the competitiveness. I'm sitting here talking to them like they can hear me, man. I'm getting to this match. How can you not? Caprice, if you're the coach here, what are you telling them to do at this point in the matchup? Watch these blows. Right now, they're playing in the chin area. Anybody could be knocked out. It's the time where they're throwing in the big gaze. They're pulling out the big guns, and you can leave yourself open. Look at that kick right there. My God. That's what I'm saying. Speedball left itself open that time. Andrew Everett able to capitalize, but Andrew Everett may come in with a big gun as well. Yep. Ran right into a super kick. Yeah, they're swinging with defenses. They're swinging to the fences now. They're trying to end it. Oh! What an impact. Cartwheel kick, choke slam, and play. Got him. Oh! Oh! Bailey gets the shoulder oh, back to the center. I can't even say that would be an upset. That would be a former national champion, former world champion. Even if it was for 30 seconds, these are two high caliber athletes in DPW, giving it all they've got. This matchup worthy of a main event anywhere. Absolutely. Andrew Everett thinking about the top rope. In my eyes, he's taking too long deciding. But this is where Andrew Everett is at home. Taking a lot of time to get up there. The Giant perched up on the top row. Yeah, too much time. Went for the shooting star press, rolled up by mm. Bailey, and out of two. The match Bailey. continues. Bailey misses. Back elbow. Everett hung in there. 
Ever did what he had to do to survive speedball, did what he needed to do to win. Both of these guys put on a tremendous show. Speedball showing the sportsman like that he is. Respect on both sides. Your winner, Speedball Bailey.